In this presentation, we're going to look at how to close a year in Microsoft Dynamics NAV. So let's go to financial management, periodic activities, fiscal year, accounting periods. So 2013 is not closed yet. We click on close year. Yes. And the tick box closed year is created. If you want to create a new accounting period, let's say a new year, we do that. Enter. So here we're starting in February. That's not what we want. So we're going to delete the February accounting period because it starts in January. So let's tick January as the new year and delete the record for February. Okay, now if we click again on close year, it starts in January, so all good, 12 months, but you could set it up as with different periods, quarters, whatever. Now let's go to close income statement. We put the ending date, the end of the year. We select a batch. We put the retained earning account. Okay, and before we go, you could have the option to put, to include dimension in your, the transaction that is going to be created. We're not going to do it this time. So the system review all the income statement accounts and create uh, general journal lines with a total per account for the year and it balances with the retain earning account that shows your profit or your loss. So if we had selected a dimension it would have created a total per dimensions. And now all we need to do is to post Once you've done it, it's a good idea to change the uh, allow dates. So in general ledger setup, if you now put the uh, allow posting from the 1st of January 2014 and go to the user setup to see if special users have special date allowed. It's not the case here, but that would prevent any uh, entries to be posted in uh, the close period.